the wedding line is quite a big set piece scene in a way. And when I look back at things like this that are on the cutting room floor, of course, the producer in me says, oh, my God, you know, how much did it cost? How many hours did, did, did we spend shooting that when we could have spent that time on something else if we'd known it wasn't going to end up in the film? I mean, I think that the, the exchanging of the gift cards is a wonderful joke. Um, I'm not sure ultimately how... Although Mike clearly has been very complimentary about it, I think that the deaf father of the bride and the and the not deaf father of the groom or vice versa. Um, it, it read very well on the page. I'm not sure, now I see it again for the first time in 10 years, whether it quite holds up. Um, but uh, Jeremy Kemp, you know, the, the one that's not deaf, um, that's being barked at by everyone, Robert Lang, wonderful actors. And again, um, we by cutting this scene, we, we turned them into extras, I'm afraid, cut their lines, and I'm sure never forgave us. Uh, and and uh, and I'm sorry, Jeremy, and I'm sorry, Robert. Thanks so much. Excuse me. Sir, I feel I should tell you, Lord Hibbert is a little deaf. Oh, thank you. Excellent wedding! I was in heaven! I appreciate it. The bride looked stunning. You must be very proud. I was. What the hell's going on? I thought the church looked exquisite. Uh, didn't she? Beautiful tiara, I thought. <laughs> yes. I thought your son looked very handsome. Yes, I understand the prawns are delicious. Bravo! Absolutely splendid occasion all round. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a great honor doing the service. Thank you. For heaven's sake, stop shouting at me. The other fellow is the one that's deaf. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a very, very, very good wedding. <laughs>